I'll show you guys how to test the turbidity, which is kind of how clear the water is. And you'll, you guys are going to take your test tube of filtered water, and you're going to use this special graduated beaker. You're going to fill it up to the 25 milliliter mark. It's important that you get it fairly close to that 25 milliliter mark, otherwise it's going to affect the results of your, your turbidity. Turbidity is how clear the water is. And once you get it to that mark, looks like I'm a little under there. One more. And remember when you're measuring graduated beakers, you want to look at it from the side. Um, look at it level from the side. If you're looking at it from above or below, it's going to affect uh, the results, what it looks like. So looking at it from the side, that's pretty close. And then the next step is you're going to need one of these turbidity cards. Okay. And put that flat on the desk. And then you're going to line up. You're going to, there is a gray rectangle. There, you're going to line up that gray rectangle with the base of that graduated beaker. And there is a circle inside. Uh, underneath it, and you want that circle to be right on the bottom of your graduated beaker. Okay, and then from there, what you do is you compare how gray the kind of the grayness of the circle that's underneath it with these circles that are around it on the outside. So, again, kind of taking a closer look at it, compare the darkness of this one and see which circle it matches up best with. So I would say it's somewhere between this one here and that one there. And so then there's a number there that's 60 JTUs. And you'd write that down in your data table.